It's been said that no one really understands quantum physics, but quantum physics works. It's been used to make everything from lasers to MRI machines. The maths checks out. So why are we still arguing about it? I've come to an island in the middle of the North Sea with some of the finest minds in science. We're here to celebrate 100 years since the birth of quantum mechanics. And I decided to ask them, why can we still not agree on what's really going on in quantum mechanics? Do you think that anyone really understands quantum physics? No, even after 100 years, the community doesn't understand it. And really, that's why we don't agree on how to interpret it. I think there are many understandings and there are not all commensurate. I don't think anyone understood quantum physics. Maybe they say it. <laughs> they can't say it, but I don't believe it. Quantum mechanics is 100 years old now. That's why we're all here. What kind of progress do you think has happened and, and why are we still arguing 100 years later? So there was enormous progress at the beginning. One had new insights and then Bell's theorem came. It reinforced that insight. But since then, I think it's rather disappointing how little progress we made. There are still the same questions, still the same arguments. Being confused is the usual state of affairs of humanity. So for most of our history, we were so wrong about what the world is made of, why things move, where we come from. So I take the current crisis of quantum theory as just another example of that. People disagree not in using the theory. People don't disagree in how to do a calculation, what to predict. They disagree in how to think about the theory and uh, what is really the theory telling me about the world. Do you think there will ever be agreement? And like, you know, in another hundred years, do you think this will be resolved? As long as there is something new to discover in physics, we will keep having different interpretations. That, that's at least my personal take. I think there will be a single view because these are physics questions. So they're in principle experimentally decidable. I do think it'll happen. I think once we find the correct interpretation, it will uh, announce itself by virtue of sort of offering more coherence than anything before. So to sort of make sense of all the experimental data, all the, the theoretical concepts, it, it'll just have a kind of uh, put things together in a sort of web of coherent relationships that will make it very difficult to dispute. I'm excited to be here and now. I don't know if I'll ever see the end of, end of that, but in a way it's the journey that's the, the fun bit, right? We're learning about the way the world could be and couldn't be, and that's always cool. I love that. That was great. <laughs> Perfect you. answer. Thank you. I think let me just check we've recorded okay. Which I hope we have. Have we